God took care of Ruth and Naomi, so I know he'll take care of me and my homie. Welcome, everybody, to the Jay Sadie Variety Show, and praise the Lord. Well, howdy, everybody. I'm Jay Sadie Gray, and I'm here with my sister, Lenny. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Have you ever thought about what true humility is? We're going to talk about humility today, but first, we have a song for you. This song was written by Father J. Roll Lungay in the 1960s, and here is Steve Thomas singing, Jesus Meek and Humble of Heart. Jesus, me and humble of heart, make my heart like yours, a heart that loves you only, just the way that you want it. was a great song. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Well, C.S. Lewis once said, true humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. We all know people that when they are given a compliment, it just seems to go to their heads. But also sometimes in life, we find ourselves in a hard place and we need help. And someone comes along and helps us out. And if we have a good nature and we're in this type of situation, it should humble us. You know, Ruth in the Bible showed true humility toward Boaz. Boaz said for her to glean in his field. And when she needs to drink, she can get it from his water jars. She was so grateful and humbled. 
And in the 10th verse of the second chapter in Ruth, the Bible shows Ruth's true humility by her bowing down to the ground. This was a gesture of true humility. It humbled her to find that someone she was a stranger to would be doing something so kind for her. You know, a kindness shown to us should never be taken for granted. I was taught that humility is expecting nothing from anybody except from God. He promised he wouldn't forsake us, and I think that was good teaching. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. It's always good to keep our hearts humbled and to focus on the Lord. So to help us focus right now, we've got a song called Humble Yourselves, and it's being sung by Chris Turner and Company. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And he will You know, the Lord, he loves us unconditionally. That's humbling to know. And if you haven't done so, would you humble your heart to the Lord? Just pray this prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, forgive me of my sins. And I believe that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and he rose again. Take my life and do something good with it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer and you believe it in your heart, you just got saved. Call somebody you love and tell them the wonderful news and read your Bible every day to build up your faith. Isn't that right, Lenny? That's right, Sadie. Once, Mother Teresa was asked what true humility was, and she said this, these are the few ways we can practice humility. 
to speak as little as possible of oneself, to mind one's own business, not to want to manage other people's affairs, to avoid curiosity, to accept contradictions and correction cheerfully, to pass over the mistakes of others, to accept insults and injuries, to accept being slighted, forgotten and disliked, to be kind and gentle even under provocation, and never stand on one's dignity to choose always the hardest. Her words were words of wisdom, and I know that to always choose the hardest is very difficult, but to do that is good for the soul. Isn't that right, Lanny? That's right, Sadie. Well, we thank you all for listening, and we are grateful and humbled that you do, and we have you in our prayers, and if you do have a prayer request, just let us know. You can get in touch with us here at the station or you can email us at contact at jsadygray.com. That's G-R-A-Y on the gray. Or you can even find us on Facebook on J. Sadie Gray. And if you've missed any of our programs, you can find them on godtube.com. Our channel is J. Sadie Gray, all small letters and no spaces. And you can leave us a comment there. We would really appreciate it, and all our books are on barnesandnobles.com or amazon.com. And we're going to leave you today now with the New York Public School number 22 chorus singing Humble and Kind. And y'all have a blessed week.
On behalf of Lenny and myself, J. Sadie Gray, let's pray that soon the sun will rain. God bless you all in Jesus' name.